Hey you guys, it's Crystal and welcome back to my channel. So today's video, I will be showing you guys how I make my lentil protein spaghetti. This is my favorite comfort food, but I found a way to make it healthier by replacing the red meat with lentils. Lentils are a great source of healthy protein and they're about 18 grams per cup. For this recipe, all you'll need is bell pepper, tomato, white onion, lentils, spices, vegetable broth, and pasta sauce and noodles of your choice. First thing first, I'm just going to rinse and chop my bell peppers I'm using a green and a red bell pepper, honestly, because that's what I had at home. <laughs> By the way, this is my favorite house dress that I just love. It's oversized, I love being in it. Um, I just wanted to be comfortable making this video, so don't mind my outfit that I got going. <laughs> After getting my bell peppers chopped up, I'm gonna go ahead and dice some Roma tomatoes. I love adding tomatoes to my pasta for some reason. It just gives it a little bit more of a freshness to my spaghetti. I love it ever since I started doing it. I'm going to eventually make my own pasta sauce, but today I'll be using jar sauce. And no, adding these tomatoes do not cause any more indigestion. In fact, I didn't get any indigestion from eating this. It was delicious, trust me. Next, I'm just going to dice my white onion. I love onion. Um, honestly, I had to stop myself from adding too much onion because I didn't want indigestion. So just dice your white onion up. I'm about to go crazy with this knife, so <laughs> don't mind me. Now the hardest part is done, the chopping. So now we can go ahead and get our seasonings. So for my spaghetti, I have learned to use more spices and herbs as opposed to using seasonings full of salt. That way I can make sure that this recipe remains healthy. Cayenne pepper, basil, thyme, turmeric good for inflammation, bay leaves, 21 seasoning salute, onion salt, that is the only salt we're using, crushed red pepper, paprika, and oregano leaves. I am absolutely in love with Trader Joe's seasonings. That's why y'all see so many. Um, I will be sure to list all of these seasonings in the description box. Now, we're going to take the olive oil and we're gonna get ready to saute our veggies. Now, I'm just adding all of my veggies, my onions, my bell peppers, my tomatoes, to the skillet on medium high heat and I'm gonna let those cook down just for a little bit. After our veggies have cooked down, we're gonna go ahead and add our lentils. I love these lentils from Trader Joe's because they are already steamed. All I had to do is just add them to the pot, which makes cooking even more easier. Lentils are a great source of protein, 18 grams per cup. 18 grams of protein, low in calories and high in protein. How about that? To make sure we get good flavor on our lentils, we're gonna go ahead and season. Now season as much as your heart desires. It seems like I'm going in, but all of these seasons are salt free, okay? They are salt free. This bay leaf, my oregano, all of it. So I'm gonna season and make sure that your skillet looks like this, cause you're gonna ensure that you're getting the vegetable season as well as the lentils. 
I love using lentils for my spaghetti and a lot of other recipes to replace red meat. Red meat is linked to a lot of digestive disorders, a lot of cardiovascular disorders, heart disease, all of it. So in order to lower that cholesterol, in order to be healthier, we're going to use lentils. As far as sauce, you can use whatever sauce you want. I'm using Prego and tomato sauce from Trader Joe's. So I'm just going to add that in. You can use as much or as little as you like. I love that this recipe is very healthy. It provides me with the comfort food of spaghetti that I love, except it's dairy free and it's meat free, which makes the perfect plant-based recipe. After adding my pasta sauce, we just mixed it in a bit. And now I'm just gonna let it sit and simmer because the sauce is basically done at this point. Now that our lentil meat sauce is complete, we're just going to turn that off and let it sit and simmer and go ahead and work on our spaghetti noodles. Since this is a comfort dish for me, we ain't counting no carbs. So I'm using regular spaghetti noodles and I'm going to boil them in half water and half vegetable broth just to add another layer of flavor. Now, if you're counting calories or you count carbs, then and you don't want the spaghetti noodles, then don't have them. You can use spaghetti squash. You can take the lentil meat mixture and make stuffed bell peppers or or even use zucchini noodles. With my spaghetti, I'm going to have this Thai chili mango chopped salad. I love this salad. I have been eating it with everything, I promise you. I got it from Sprouts. It's full of dried mango. It has sunflower seeds. It's just so good and it pairs well with my lentil protein spaghetti. I love to keep my spaghetti noodles separate from my lentil meat sauce. That way I have the versatility to utilize this lentil meat sauce in many different ways. You can honestly eat it by itself. You can use it in stuffed bell peppers. I can use it with zucchini noodles. And I have enough made up to last me for a couple of days. What I have learned with plant-based eating is that, that there's always a balance. Some days we have carbs and some days we don't, but every day we try to keep it healthy and eat meatless. A traditional plate of spaghetti with red meat sauce can run you about 700 calories. And that's if you don't add the dairy and the sugar. Yes, the cheese and the sugar. Some people do add that to their spaghetti. Trust me, I know about it because I've eaten some spaghetti like that. Well, this spaghetti is replacing the red meat. We're not adding the sugar. We're not adding the dairy and the calories that you save, I'm able to get two servings of this for less than 500 calories. I thoroughly enjoyed making this dish. It was very simple to make, very affordable. I think this was less than $20 to make. It's so easy and it's healthy. I hope you guys get more of an insight on different meals that I make while on my plant-based journey. Just making simple swaps is how I continue going on my plant-based journey. Let me know if you guys end up using this recipe or using lentils for something else. If you guys want more plant-based recipes, be sure to leave me a comment and I will talk to you guys later in my next video. Peace.